Well, today on the Berkeley Fishing Squad, I've got my mate here, Stella Torrance. When's the last time we went fishing together? Um, a couple of years ago now. Yeah. And you were catching big flathead and snapper. Yeah. And since then, uh, I did see a picture of you catching a giant trevally. Is that fair dinkum? Yeah. Really? With these muscles? Yeah. Well done. Today it's all about trout. So, what sort of trout have we got in here? Uh, brown and rainbow. So, both species, browns and rainbows. Yeah. So, they've been stocked. I've got to tell you, this is a beautiful part of the world. I know you're lucky your family's got some property here. So, we're going to go up here and have a bit of a cast. So, you've got a tiny little soft plastic on. I yeah. reckon I might go the same. Do you like soft plastics better than hard bodies? Yeah. Okay, cool. We've got both plastics and hard bodies. We're going to try and see what they're feeding on. They're tricky characters to catch at times, aren't they? Yeah. You reckon they're a bit spooky, trout? Yeah. So what have we got to do? Maybe keep down low and stay nice and quiet? Yeah. All right. That hole up there, you reckon, is a good one? Yeah. All right, let's get up there and see if we can't catch one. Got him, yes. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah. <laughs> Where is it, Stel? Down there. Oh, let's let it go down. That's all right. Whoa, he's down there. So what do you got to do here to land a trout? Keep your rod tip down, you reckon? Yeah. That's the important bit. Yes! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> How much fun was that? Oh. That was awesome, awesome, awesome. How good was that? How high did that fish jump? Really high. That was mad. So I reckon it was that high. Well, if we're fishermen, we can say that high, can't we? Yeah. yeah. And if we'd lost it, how big would it have been? That big? Yeah. But we didn't lose it. That was terrific. So where did just sh show everyone where you caught it? So was it just, just point over that way, no, was it? Just right in that bit of the edge of the rock there. And it was running around down in the in the, in the rapids there, and because there's so much water flow, it just makes the fight so awesome, doesn't it? Yeah. Well done, all right, well, how about we lift it up? Oh, look at that. So you can get inside on, show everyone at home what that looks like. That's a cool looking trout. What do you reckon they call them, rainbow trout? Uh, because of the, like, kind of pink down it. Pinky rainbow colours? Yeah. Yep. And then, what did you say, there's rainbow and brown trout in here? Yeah. So you've got both types of trout. That's a beauty, that one. Just see if you can, that little ring grip. I'll show you a little trick. So if you go your thumb around the other way, that's it. And give it a really good ring in there. And that, that holds and supports that tail. I reckon that's about 40 centimetres long, that rainbow trout. That is yeah. an absolute beauty. And what are you using? Uh, just a, a, little, a soft plastic. A little soft plastic. And I did see you put a bit of scent on there too, just to make a bit of difference. Yeah. I've got to tell you, whatever you did, it worked really well. Well done, Stell. What do you want to do with this one, Stell? Uh, release it. Release it, watch it swim off. Because yeah. you know what, I reckon then you could come back and it might, instead of being that big, it might be even bigger, get a second go and get yeah. an even bigger jump. That'd be pretty cool. All right, give me your rod and I'll hang on to that. You pick him up and we'll watch him swim off. Oh, no. There he goes, righto oh, Stell, let him go. Woo. All right, Stella, let's have a look and see what's in your trout kit. I know you've got a pretty cool little bag that you can walk along the bank with. So what have we got? What have we got here? We've got uh, a net. A net. So that's important because the current is so strong. They're really hard to net those fish, aren't they? Yeah. So we've got a net. We've got some, what have we got? Soft plastics. Yeah. So that's like a little creature looking one, that one. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got little legs and heavily scented. But I noticed you've been going with this one. So what's that look like? A little tiny fish, doesn't it, that one? Yeah. And what did we do? We changed, pull one of those out and show everyone. So we changed the size a little bit, just for these, these sort of creek trout. If we're chasing bigger trout, we might go with that big one, but we cut it down with a pair of scissors to make it a bit smaller, didn't we? Yeah. And I reckon that's gonna be, that's gonna be the trick, is to get it that sort of right size profile. So well done there. And just show everyone, all you gotta do is get a pair of scissors. Show everyone how you just cut that off. We'll just go, we'll just take that off, what about there somewhere? Yeah. Cut him off about there. And that's the great thing with those laws. Better off to start with a bigger law that you can make smaller, because you can't make yeah. a smaller one bigger, can you? Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. That's that little tea tail. And then he goes on a tiny little, show everyone those jig heads you've been using. So tiny little jig heads, those ones there. That's it. And then if you like your hard-bodied laws, I like this one that you like. Pick that one up. What does that look like, that one? 
This one looks like a brown trout. Yeah, because he's got the little spots on him, hasn't he? The yeah. little tiny spots and the red eye. And, and brown trouts have that sort of red markings around the front. So I reckon, I reckon he could even be good sometimes when the trout aren't biting that hard and they think that's another trout invading my territory and they might eat it. So yeah. Yeah, he's a cool looking one. So hard bodied lures. We're using some, what sort of size leader? Six pound? Six pound. Six pound leader, some six pound braid. And we've got little tiny uh, one to three kilo rods, little 2000 size reel. And away you go. And it is just a magnificent spot to go fishing here. If you've never been trout fishing, how lucky are you that you get to do it all the time? Yeah. It's pretty cool and it's a beautiful spot here. And I reckon you could even splash your face and have a drink of that water, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Yep, got him. Oh! oh. I got him, Stel. You shot. <laughs> oh. What do you reckon that is? Is that a rainbow or a brown? It's a brown. Oh, righto, so the, what do you got to do to get him in the net, mate? Try and sneak him in the net. A net down, yeah! <laughs> Yeah, look at that! That's a big brown. That's a cracker. Wow, turn around this way. Look at that. I've never been so excited. That was awesome. That's a beauty. Can you? And you did such a good job. You know what? Fishing's teamwork, isn't it? So you've got to be, if you're not winding, what do you got to do? Support your teammate. Yeah. Get ready with the net. You did everything right. You hold my rod for me. And I'll see if I can pick that brown up and show everyone what a beautiful creek brown. Oh, he's a feisty fella. Look at that. So what's the difference between the browns and the, and the oh, 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 catch. <laughs> Give him a little drink. He's a bit feisty. Wow, you did well there with the net. I reckon I was going to lose it if you didn't catch that with the net then. So what's the difference between the browns and the, and the rainbows? The browns got like... Speckles on him? Yeah, and doesn't have like the pink... That, that big pink flash. Yeah. Yeah, right. Look at that. That's a beautiful fish. I'd say it's probably about the similar size to that one that you caught before, and we've got one of each. You couldn't ask for much more there. So there's that little tiny soft plastic's done the job again. That's the ones that we trimmed up before. So just tell everyone, what's the basic technique? What do you got to do if you want to catch a trout? Cast oh, that way? Cast that way and bring it down into like the deeper water. Yep, and then just have that little tail wiggling on that soft plastic. Yeah. A little bit of scent on there helps as well, and there's a the result. Well, check that out. That's a magnificent brown trout. You've got a cracking rainbow trout, one of yeah. each. I couldn't have asked for any better. This is a beautiful part of the world, and you know the best thing is, Stella, I reckon there's another spot just around the corner. We're going to let this fella go, and we might have a few more casts. What do you reckon? Yeah. Awesome stuff. <laughs> All right. I wonder how big he's going to get in a couple of years, Stella. Yeah. All right. Off you go, buddy. There you go. Go on. Go on. He's just sitting there. Look at that. 